Hello, my name is Christopher, and I'm going to be covering Wylock Second Grade Worksheet Lesson 16. So what we'll be doing today is we'll be doing finding the greatest number, skip counting, and uh, ordering numbers, and word problems. Okay, let's try finding the greatest number. So the directions say, find and circle the greatest number in each row. So let's take a look at number one. 38, 42, and 34. So before you even start this, you would look at the tens place. By looking at the tens place, you can figure out which number is greater or less. So three, four, three. By looking at it, we could we could see that three and three, or three is is the lowest number. But here you see that four. There's a 42, and 40 and four is greater than three, meaning that 42 is the greatest number. So you would just look at the tens place and you could see that what you could see which one's bigger. Again, let's do number two. 22, 19, 30. Looking at the tens place, two, one, three. Which one which number is bigger? Okay, so two is greater than one, but three is greater than two. So that means that thirty is the greatest number. Uh let's take let's do one more. Four. 80, 73, 79. Again, two sevens and one eighty. But, as, as I said, look at the one tens place, and you can figure out which number is the greatest. And since, 80, since 8 is greater than 7, the greatest number is 80. Okay, let's take a look at number 5. Number 5 requires a bit more work. So, 46 minus 38. Again, you would just do, you would look at the ones place, take, you gotta carry one over. 60 minus 8, 8, and that, you would get 8 for this one, 8 you'd get 8 for number 5, and then we will do 18 plus 21. 8 plus 9, 2, 1, 2, 30, that's 39, 39. Let's do number, this one, 29 minus 10, move that 9 over, 2 minus 1, that 1. And by looking at 8, 39, 19, again, 10th place, this one doesn't even have a 10th place, so... But this one has the greatest, so 18 plus 21 is the greatest. Okay, let's do number 14, 7, sorry, number 7. 14 plus 13, okay. 3 plus 4, 7, 1 plus 1, 2. 21 plus 5, that's actually 26. 30 minus 9, that's 21. Okay, so let's see. Looking at the tens place, wait, they're all the same tens. Tens place, they're all two in the tens place. But now we gotta look at the ones to see which number is greater. Okay, seven, six, one. Which one's greater out of all of this? <clears throat> seven is. So the greatest, so the number that is the greatest is 14 plus 13 for number seven. Okay, let's do skip counting. Count by four using the missing numbers. Okay, so what we're doing right now is we're counting by fours every single time. So let's see. Let's see how many ornaments there are in the first one. One, two, three, four. There's four, so we would put four here. But again, we're counting by fours, meaning that we're going to add four. We're going to add four every single time. So we're going to do four plus four, that's eight. Eight plus four, that's 12. And again, if you need help, you can just count these ornaments and you can see that there's four here, four here, and four here, which adds up 12. Again, add four. You get 16, add 4 again, and you get 20. Okay, let's try number 3. Count by 6 to find the missing number. Okay, this one's a bit harder, but I think we could still do it. So there's 6 snowflakes here. So we originally start with 6. So 6. And then we add 6 because, you know, we're counting by 6. And then we get 12. And then we add 6 again because we're still counting by 6. And then we get 18. So our answer would be 16, 12, and 18. Okay, let's do number four as well. This is counting by tens. This is this should be a lot easier, so we could try this. So we're counting by tens, and again, visual help, help is up here, so you could do it. So we could do 10 plus 10, that's 20. 20 plus, 20 plus 10, that's 30. And 30 plus 10 is 40, which is right here. 40 plus 10, that's 50. 50 plus 10, that's 60. And 60 plus 10 is 70. So, there you go. <clears throat> okay, let's do ordering numbers. Place the numbers from least to greatest. Okay, so this might be a bit harder, but it's it really isn't that complicated.
so what we'll be doing is we'll be looking at the ones place again and then the tens by looking at this we could see the great the lowest number is 13 and 18 from the ones place so and then we'll look at the ones now three and eight which one's uh which one's the least three is right so we will put 13 here and then again we'll put 18. now we'll look at the second greatest 29 27 and 30. we've done all of these two uh, again two since three is the greatest we could just put 30 over at the top 29 and 27. let's see looking at the ones place 27 is less than nine so 27 would go here and 29 would go up here okay let's try number three 84 76 77 80 and 89 again looking at the tens place there's 76 and 77 so those two are the least because we're looking at the tens place first and seven is less than eight and and then we'll do this these ones now six minus is six is less than seven so 76 would come here and 77 would come here and now let's do now let's see 80 89 and 84 looking at the tens place they all they're all the same but looking at the ones place zero is less than four and nine so 80 would go here but 84 is less than 89 so 84 would go here and 89 would go here since it's the greatest okay let's do number six 21 18 23 19 11 Looking at the ones place, these two are the only ones that have the least because t one is less than two. Oh, sorry, there's also 19 as well. So 18, 19, 11. Okay, 11 is the least, then 18, and then 19. That's because, you, as you can see, looking at the ones place, one is less than eight, eight is less than nine. So that's the order. And then looking at the, t at the, t at the um, other two, 21 and 23. Looking looking at it the tens place are the same but the ones place are a bit different but the ones place here is less than th is a bit less than 23 because one is less than three so 21 would go here and 23 would go here 21 and 23 would go there okay let's do uh more problems nine students have per uh purple mittens 11 students have 11 mittens and six students have red mitten red mittens okay sorry Nine students have purple mittens, 11 students have black mittens, nine, six students have red mittens. How many mittens do they have in all? Since it says all, we're going to have to add. So we're going to do 9 plus 11 first. That's 20. And 20 plus 6, that's 26. So how many mittens do they have? 26 mittens. So when it says all, it's asking you, for, it's asking you to add. So that's all you really need to do. Let's do one more. Nosh had had some pine cones. For Christmas, his friend gave him seventeen more. Now he has sixty-four pine cones. How many did Nosh have before Noah? I mean, sorry, not Nosh. I've been calling Nosh. Sorry, Noah have before. So, again, since it's saying before, his he gave his he um his friend gave him seventeen more. Now he has sixty-four. But but we're trying to figure out how many he had before, meaning that before he had before he got this. And which adds up to this now, we're gonna have to subtract. So we're gonna do 64 minus 17. And 64, and then looking at it, 6 minus 4, that doesn't work, so we gotta change this. And then 4 turns into 14, 14 minus 7, 7, 5 minus 1, that's 4. And then how many how many uh, pine cones did he have before? 47 pine cones. There you have it.